Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video, we're gonna have a look at how we can search for files that we've misplaced on our Mac. So at some point when you're working your Mac, you're gonna save a file in the wrong place. And so this is gonna help you to find that file, even if you don't know the name of the file itself. So you might have saved it as untitled or something like that. But what will be useful when you're searching for your file is to think about the type of file and also perhaps the date that you created it. So we're gonna jump onto our Mac here, and we're gonna to come to the Finder, which we're gonna bring up by coming down to the dock here. And essentially we want to search for any file name on our Mac. So I'm actually going to come to the search bar at the top right here. And we want to search for any file name on our Mac. So you can focus down the search by searching your documents, your downloads, your home folder, but we're going to search whole computer. So I'm going to do shift command C, which will bring us the whole computer. So it's going to search my backup and my computer as well. So up in the search bar, I'm going to type a period. And that is going to search for any file on my Mac, which is going to sometimes take a little bit of time, but we're going to pare this down a bit. So we're going to add some search criteria here. So we're looking for some older files created in 2015. So I'm going to add a search option up here at the top right. We're going to search for the created date and we're going to search for created date after. And you can see there's other options here as well for a particular year or today or a certain date. And so we have the date format in month, day, and year here. So we're going to type in January 24th, 2015. So it's going to search for any file created after that. And with such a wide date range between 2015 and the end of 2023 now, this search might take a long time to actually run. So I'm going to add another search parameter here and we're going to set a created date for before February 28th, 2015. And we'll come up and type in our period again. And we're still getting a huge number of files here. We wanna pare this down to some specific file types. So what we're really looking for is videos and we're gonna add a new search criteria here. And we're gonna leave the option here as kind. So we're looking for a certain kind of video and we can set it to movie. And that's gonna focus this search in on any videos created within that particular time period. And you can see here, we're getting a useful list of files which we can quickly scan through. We can organize them by name. So we can reverse that if we want to. We can organize it by date modified if we kind of have a sense of when things were created. We can also change the view that we're seeing here as well if we think the thumbnail might be useful. So we can change to view it as icons. So this is gonna be useful as well. So you can see some older tutorial material here. And if we jump back to list view, we can view it by size as well. So if we know that this is gonna be one of our bigger files or one of our smaller files that we're looking for, then these can also be useful things to order and help us work through our search. So obviously we can increase the date here if we wanna pare it down even more. So we've extended that between January and April. So we're gonna get some more files in our search results here. But you can see it's really focusing in on that particular period of time. We can also change the format that we're looking for as well. So if we decide we wanna look for images, again, we can set to thumbnails. We can scroll through the images and see if any of those are listed there. You can see in our list view, it's searching for not only image files like JPEGs, GIFs, it's also searching for Illustrator files, so files that were created as images. So if we scroll down here, you can see we've got quite a wide range of different types of files within that period of time. If for instance, we do wanna search for just Adobe Illustrator files, then we can keep the kind option, but we can come to other. And here when we're typing in the option for other, we're typing in the name of the application. So I'm gonna type in Illustrator here. And you can see it's giving me all those options for Adobe Illustrator files, AI files. I could also type in Photoshop or Final Cut Pro. It's gonna show me all the different Final Cut Pro files I have here. So some really useful tools for looking for and searching for files on your Mac. If you then click on one of the files, you find the file that you are searching for, then this little daisy chain down at the bottom is useful. So we can double click on the folder name and then come into that specific folder. So you can see I'm actually able to go right in, find other files that might be related to this as well. Always useful when you're searching for older files on a backup to be able to search for things in that date range, to be able to search for the specific file type, and then also to be able to see the folder that that file is within in case you need to see any other images or videos within that particular date range. If we go back here, you can see we can also save these searches too. So if we want to keep this search, then we can create a save search. So we'll save this as 2015 Final Cut Pro files, and it's going to add it to the sidebar. 
And so now we can keep this save search as a list of those specific files within our favorite sidebar. If we don't need this, then we can drag that out and remove it. So a few really useful features for searching for finding files, finding those folders, hopefully this is useful. If you do have any questions, then please leave them in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.